हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट कमांडर्स एंड हेडक्वार्टर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट फाइटिंग आर्म वी हैव डिस्कस इन अ रियल लेक्चर अबाउट हाउ द फाइटिंग आर्म्स आर डिवाइडेड आई हैव गिवन द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डॉक्टर्स दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू समथिंग इन आई स्पेशलिस्ट यू विल गो फॉर आई स्पेशलिस्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ ती डॉक्टर यू विल गो फॉर डेंटिस्ट सो देर आर डिवाइडेशन इन एवरी सेक्टर्स इफ यू सी इन कॉलेज ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स so as per your specialist or your interest you will go for that subject professor right so same in fighting arms if you are you have interest in other sector you should know what are the dividation in indian army like if you want to be a front line like you have you have you are interested to kill uh, the uh, enemies so what where you will go in which sector you will go you should know everything so first is armor so what is armor armor by virtue of its mobility fire protection and shock action is mostly applied situated for present day in battlefield environment so what they do they uh, they in they play very important in front line they destroy the army okay so in battlefield environment the basic role of armor is destroy the enemy by relentless mobile offensive action both in offensive and defensive operation an armed regimental has 45 tanks ranks maybe it's be, maybe it is more now but there is uh, previously there are 45 tanks okay you can see in this image that the soldier or officer may be in, in tank operating tank for what reason of course to kill the army okay now we will see there are we will see few tanks the so first is t t90 bhishma which is uh, from 1992 to present we know that our independence was 1947 right so after 1947 we know there are many wars happen in our country uh, like uh, kashmir operation then uh, india china war right so you know the years and now t90 was launched in 1992 so you should know in 1992 which war is happen nearby so in that war may be the t90 bhishma is used okay so the type of this tank is main battle tank crew is 3 length of the uh, tank is 9.64 width is 3.72 and height is 2.22 and the weight of this tank is 50 tons right so you should know all this features as a, as a uh, to make a career in army you should know all this you are the you are going to be a future officer of indian army so you should know all the features of this tank if you are interested to join in indian army as a armor okay next is t72 ajaya which is from launches from 1972 till present it is in indian army so the type of this tank is main battle tank length of course crew members can be uh, use is 3 Length is nine point five three, width is three point five nine, and height is two point two three. Okay, it's mostly similar like T nine T ninety Bhishma. Okay, and the weight is forty seven point seven tons. Next is BMD. BMD is launched in BMD two. Okay, BMD is launched in nineteen eighty five to nineteen ninety. Okay, the year was it is not maybe it's not in now Indian Army presently. okay so type of this tank is airborne infantry fighting vehicle okay and these are their features next is bmd 1 we have seen uh, there bmd 2 and this is bmd 1 it came before the bmd 2 it's in year 1968 to 1987 okay so after of course maybe there's a problem in bmd 1 so after bmd which came is bmd 2 so same the features are maybe mostly same the length is small this bmd one length is small and bmd 2 is length is uh, huge okay these are the tank feature you should know there are many more tanks so we have learned here is four tanks next uh, next is infantry fighting arms okay so infantry is essential an arm of close combat its role in attack is to close in with the enemy and destroy or capture him and hold ground and defend it is hold ground against all forms of attack it is also employed in counter insurgency and counter terrorism operation i will give you example like now you are not in indian army but you have seen many movies like uri or um, 
there are others so in uh, you have seen there are wars and the indian army soldiers and armies are uh, take their weapons and go for to kill in kill uh, enemies in battlefield so that comes in infantry okay so infantry uh, armed forces what they do they uh, they they, they are close with the enemy destroy or capture him and hold in ground so infantry plays very important role for our security of our country okay next we will learn the supporting arms okay now in supporting arms it's it is artillery we have seen that in fighting arms there is armored and this is artillery it's quite similar but armor plays in front line but art artillery artillery plays is they uh, destroy enemy by in back foot suppose in front line there is army first who will uh, face them arm armored and then infantry and artillery is in back foot they uh, attack from back side okay they are backup of of our uh, indian army so artillery provides heavy volume of fire at long ranges to damage and destroy enemy position before it can be physically captured and occupied by own ground forces you can see this in Im images what they are doing uh, they are uh, bombing and tank full of uh, to destroy army so they plays again very important role as a supporting arms so this were the three we have discussed there are many more so we sh you should know there is dividation of indian army before joining the indian army okay next important is indian army rank and badges okay okay the first important rank first rank is field marshal who have national amber over a cross button and sabre in lotus blossom breath okay so it describe the our rank so you can see there is a national emblem and cross baton and the lotus bloom okay this is a field marshal so our first field marshal of our country was before independence there was he was k m kariyappa our first field marshal and after independence the first field marshal was sam manikshaw so it's a big rank with big responsibilities so sam manikshaw was the first field marshal after independence who play very important role to save our country from any enemies and he he was a part of like kashmir operations and indo china war and many more wars okay so first is field marshal the highest rank of indian army second is general in general there is a national emblem over five pointed star over all across baton and sabre you can see there is a, uh, a national emblem star and the cross baton next is third lieutenant general third rank of indian army national emblem over cross baton and sabre okay then is fourth is major general five pointed star and cross baton fifth is brigadier national emblem and three stars this is the fifth rank of indian army brigadier then is sixth rank is colonel colonel have national emblem and two stars then seventh is lieutenant colonel lieutenant colonel have a uh, national emblem and five pointed star that is one star okay then major national emblem this is the eighth rank only national emblem then ninth rank is captain captain have five pointed star and the last one is 10th which is lieutenant it's a two pointed star so when you joined indian army then the first rank you got is lieutenant and uh, in your shoulder you have two stars right so it's a big opportunity for all ncc cadets to know about uh, uh, what are the or how organization works what are the armed forces in organization and what are you are interested to join if you are if you want to join in infantry you should know every aspects of inter, infantry when it started when was it started who was the chief of infantry now and many more aspect because if you go in ssb and they ask you anything about interest and uh, they ask you the question related to that you should know if you don't know that that means you, you are not interested in to join indian army that means indirectly that only so you should know 
if you want to pursue anything about uh, many role so what we have learned today is fighting arms which have armor then infantry then supporting arms in supporting arms it's artillery then we have learned about indian army rank and batches from first first was field marshal to we have gone lieutenant till lieutenant okay thank you